Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to introduce you to the Site Assets Library. Uh, now, when you create a new site, so I have this leadership uh, team site uh, over here on the screen, and uh, by default, of course, you get a document library. Uh, that's where you store all the documents like Word, Excel, you know, PDFs, all that stuff. Uh, but then we, in reality, we actually have additional libraries created on the site. Uh, to view them all, uh, you can navigate to site contents, so gear icon, and then uh, site contents. And you will see a bunch of uh, other libraries uh, that uh, are also created. Uh, so obviously the documents library is for documents. We have the site pages library. Uh, that's where the pages are stored. Uh, all the pages and news posts, you know, news and announcements, um, essentially all the pages are stored here. But then you probably um, uh, saw this already. Uh, we also have something called site assets. Let me click on site assets and let's see uh, what it contains. So uh, the site assets library is a special library in SharePoint uh, that pretty much contains, uh, you know, various files necessary for the SharePoint site to function, to properly function. Uh, so the first thing you will see is that it contains uh, the notebook, all right? Every time you create a team in Teams or every time you create a team site, it actually creates a one -not notebook, right, for meeting minutes and stuff like that. Uh, and guess what? Uh, the notebook itself resides in the site assets library. So anytime you click uh, on notebook from the site or anytime you add a notebook, uh, within the teams, you know, maybe you added it as a, as a tab to one of the channels. Uh, it's actually a notebook that physically resides on the SharePoint site in the site as its library. So if you ever want to find the actual location of the notebook, here it is. Uh, you will also notice the, uh, the, those site icons and essentially that's your logo. All right. Uh, you know how, uh, you get a new SharePoint site and uh, by default, it doesn't have any logos. Well, guess what? Uh, when you uh, change the header, again, when you click the uh, gear icon, change the look, uh, and um, you know, go to header and upload your logo, the logos are actually physically stored uh, once again in the site assets library. Uh, finally, what you're also going to see is a folder called site pages. All right. I remember we have a, se a separate uh, library called site pages. That's where the actual pages are stored. But what this library, uh, what this folder contains uh, is the image uh, that you embedded. All right. The images that you embedded uh, on that page. Uh, so, for example, here I uh, created this news post. All right. Uh, it's, a, it's a page, of course. It's a news post uh, with an image that I uploaded. And if we go behind the scenes to site contents, site assets, site pages, you will see a subfolder for each and every page that contains an image or images, right? You can have multiple images, of course, on your page. And if I click here, this is the actual image that I uploaded to that article, all right? Uh, now, um, this site assets library is not a library you would normally go to. It kind of just builds itself with content all right so this is more of you know for your information kind of video uh, but i still wanted to explain uh, you know this to you and what actually happens behind the scenes uh, now uh, while you can upload documents here and you know uh, you can obviously upload nothing stops you from that you can upload word excel pdf here this is not something you would normally do all right that's why we have this regular document library and of course you can create uh, normal, you know, a document a libraries, additional libraries if uh, necessary. Uh, however, however, um, you, you know, the, the site's uh, asset library is essentially just kind of a working library, right? Uh, that will automatically, uh, that will automatically uh, essentially um, uh, load the content based on your activities on SharePoint when you uh, upload the logo, when you create news and announcements, additional pages, upload images. Uh, it's kind of a catch-all place for uh, for this sort of information uh, to support, once again, to support uh, your site, all right? Uh, so that's all I really wanted to explain to you. Um, you know, uh, hopefully you learned something new uh, uh, today. And as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. 
as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.